<sighs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. I'm sick. I have no energy. I wasn't even planning to make a video today, but I have this stupid pimple and I thought that I could turn my misfortune into your gain. So I'm gonna make a short video and show you all how to remove a blemish or a pimple using DaVinci Resolve. So let's get into it. All right, so I just recorded a short 10 second clip for us to do this little exercise. Uh, for those who are curious, I shot this on a Sony a7S III, uh, S-Log3, 422, 10-bit, uh, H.265. And I brought it straight into DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I'm using DaVinci Resolve Studio 18.5, but I'm 99% sure that all of the tools I'm gonna show you today are also available in the free version of Resolve. So everyone should be able to do this. Uh, okay, so jumping into Resolve, here we're at my edit page, but we wanna jump over to the color page because that's where all the work is gonna be done. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna drop a LUT on here just because it makes things easier to see and more saturation. And then what I'm going to do is drop a serial node after by hitting Option S. This is where all of my corrections are going to happen. Now what you want to do is jump over to this tab right here, the Window tab. And I like to select the little pen tool there. Um, you want to zoom in so that way we can easily see the pimple. And you just have to draw a shape around it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be pretty rough, just like that. Now once you have the shape drawn around your pimple or blemish, you can go to the Tracker tab. Now, since we're starting at the beginning of the clip, all we have to do is press this play button and it'll go through and automatically track that pimple for every frame within that clip. Notice that I have pan, tilt, zoom, rotate, and 3D checked. That's because I want the object to be tracked no matter what kind of movement I'm making in the clip. Um, also notice that I have clip selected and not frame because I don't want to go frame by frame. I want this to track the entire clip. All right, so now I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you guys can see what's going on a little better. And then I'm going to hit play. Now, sometimes this happens. It'll stop tracking because it thinks it lost uh, whatever item it was trying to track. But as we can see right here, it's still right on top of the pimple. So in that kind of scenario, it's fine just to hit play again, again, and we're done. It's that easy. So now once you have the blemish tracked, you wanna jump back over to the window tab. So now this is where we want to drag that shape that you drew over a piece of skin that you want to use to mask the pimple. So keep in mind that you want it to be similar tone of skin and you want it to be similar luminance, right? So you don't want to drag this all the way over to, you know, here. You want to drag it somewhere really close so that way it's as close as it can be. So I'm going to go somewhere right around there. This should be fine for this tutorial. Now what we want to do is jump over to this tab right here called sizing. And you want to make sure that you have this icon selected right here, node sizing. Now all you have to do, and watch this, we just pan over and you can see this little chunk of skin moving around. Now all you have to do is put it right on top of the pimple. That's placing it, and it already looks better, but it does look odd, right? So we need to smooth it out a bit. So I'm gonna come back over to the Window tab, and I'm gonna feather it a little bit by giving it a little more outside right here. You can see that right there. And then I'm also gonna soften it up a bit. And if you soften it too much, it's gonna start to show the pimple through it, as you can see there. So we don't wanna soften it too much probably around one-ish, and there it is, look. So, before, after, before, after. All right, so check it out. Perfectly tracks, super easy, you don't have to go frame by frame. 
pimples gone from every frame. Super easy. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I guess since I already showed you how to get rid of the pimple, I should get rid of mine. There we go, that's better. Anyway, this was my first DaVinci Resolve tutorial. I hope you guys liked it and found it useful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Drop a comment down below if you wanna see more. My name is Matt, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.